what's good youtube it's your boy trevy trev and i'm back with another video not on the farm right now because i'm in the country bro so like i have to drive like 10 miles out to a starbucks like i'm right here right now because you know i don't have internet where my family is in the country so i just gotta make do because bro i'm a grinder i gotta do these um these trainings for homeland security and i gotta live there and I got to do that for two months. So, you know, no complaining for me, just hard work and discipline. Because honestly, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Like I drove hours upon hours just to get there, just to have somewhere to stay, just to train. And, you know, I'm working really hard to be what I want to be in life. And in this life, you got to have that willpower to succeed because I'm not going to hold you. I've been feeling down. But ever since I got fired and then I moved, things have been great. Like, and it's all because of perseverance, because I just been working so hard and I've been at that corporate job for so long to the point where they made me feel like I'm a dummy when I know I'm good at my job, when I know I'm confident that they killed my confidence and slowly but surely they made me want to settle, made me feel less than what I'm worth and almost made me give up on my dream. But thankfully, they fired me because of some bullshit and some nonsense. And now I'm back on the path I need to be because I was working hard, but that was just the kickstart that I needed. And I was even at one of my trainings, right? And then the um, the, tra the trainers, the instructors, there was like different instructors, some from the fire department, some from the Air Force, some from Homeland Security, just a bunch of different people. And I was just going hard at my training, doing my cybersecurity, doing the physical exams. And they were telling me, yo, you got hella heart and you're definitely going to make it. And hearing it from these guys who are already established in the field and just hearing that, it made me feel so good because... I know I'm going to make it and internally I have that confidence, but to hear more experienced people tell me that it just made me happy. It made me, it made me smile because honestly, sometimes I get down on myself and I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but you know, I keep on pushing on, I keep on going forward. And those guys, they told me I got a lot of heart. And even though I'm one of the smaller dudes out there, I'm out there lifting and doing more than people who have come in the door for years because I'm out there doing all this physical work, lifting a 165 pound dummy, learning all these new things I can't talk about. But, you know, they told me, yo, you got it, bro. Just keep going. Keep going through the process. I know it's been a year and some change, but you got it, bro. And that made me feel amazing. Like, even though I'm out in the country and I don't have any Internet, and I have a lackluster gym just to hear those people tell me I'm doing the right thing and then in a few months I'll be in a place where I want to be it just pushes me forward every day even though I've had to change my whole lifestyle and it's mad different but that's just me telling you guys you got to have that willpower to succeed in life never let anybody tell you what you can and cannot do because that other job they constantly held me back they constantly kept me at middle management even when they know I could have went that corporate route and been better than all of them but they kept grinding they kept grinding me under their foot and under their heel to the point where enough was enough and then they put someone better like who they thought was better they weren't better than me and they put someone over me because they were just messing with the boss and you know then they threw me away like trash and get don't get it twisted all these companies they should they're gonna throw you away like trash regardless because they view us all as numbers and whatever but there's a certain way to go about it but you know they they said screw that and did that but you know what I bounced back. I didn't give up. I'm not homeless begging on the street. I'm not doing nothing crazy. And that's just a testament to who I am as a man because a lot of people give up when they have setbacks, but I keep going. Like I know God's on my side to the point where he's putting me through all these trials and tribulations to prepare me for my, my breakthrough and my blessing. So I'm ready for that. And if I gotta go to Starbucks to use the internet, that's fine. If I gotta live in the country, that's fine. But you know, I'm gonna get to where I wanna get this year and I'm gonna look back on this and laugh because I'm, I'm happy already. I'm infinitely happier now. But you know, I am a little bit hungry and you know, I've been training all day. Like I'm out here at my laptop here and I'm recording and everything. And now I'm about to go get something to eat. But I wanted to make this video to tell you guys have that willpower to go ahead because I was even watching One Piece, right? And Luffy, he had, like, if you guys know about One Piece, they have hockey, which is basically their, their power up or whatever. And Luffy has conquerors hockey because everybody feels his will. And I feel like I have that in real life because people are telling me I have heart and I could do this and I could do this. And I believe in myself to where nothing can stop me from my goals. Nothing can stop me from my goals. And I'm going to just keep going forward and just take my blessings under God. But I wanted to make this video for y'all and just say, keep going. And they're going to feel that energy off of you. You're going to feel that energy off of you. And then when you get to where you want to get, there's nothing stopping you from your dreams. Everything is accomplishable. And 
you got to just know in this life that it's yours. It's yours, and you got to take that initiative, and take that grind, and take those setbacks and form it into something worthwhile. But, you know, I was on my motivational tip. Y'all saw me? But, you know, I'm going to get back to making videos and content regularly. Some of it's going to be on the farm, but I'm going to come out here to drop it and edit it and do what I got to do because there is no internet out there. Like, that place is stuck in the early 2000s. So, you know, it's a little bit of a sanctuary, yes, but, you know, I got to be in civilization. I can't live out on the farm. But anyway i'm gonna keep the content flowing thank you guys for tuning in like comment and subscribe hopefully you're enjoying the um the uh the week start of the week and i just want y'all to keep going at it y'all just keep going at it and don't buy into the bs but anyway i'm out i'll see y'all